What children are not taught? Our children, ensnared in the indoctrination system, and even us as adults, are not taught a number of things that would be beneficial both to them personally as well as the society they construct. It speaks to who they become as adults. One key thing our children are not taught, and quite the opposite, is that they are responsible for the behavior they choose, and that their behavior is the one and only thing they can control 100%. Everything else they can only influence. Some things they will have high influence upon, and other things they will have little to no influence upon. Influencing air into their lungs is something they have great ability with. Influencing the weather, not so much. Our children today are taught that others are responsible for what they themselves have chosen. In particular, what they are taught is that if someone says something they choose to be hurt by, it's the other's fault. They are not taught to choose what they think about nor how to think about what they think about. A simple example is one calling them ugly. They can think about kittens and keep going to kittens if distracted. Or they could, instead of choosing to hurt, oh, they think I'm ugly, oh no, choose to think, who cares what they think? They're just stupid. This thought results in far less, and often no, pain. No, our children are taught that others are responsible for their choice of feelings, and thus absurdities like hate speech arise. Thus arises justification to censor. Thus arises opportunity for more control. Our children are not taught the laws of ethics. Though they do grasp that killing or hurting the flesh of others is wrong, they do grasp that taking or damaging things without permission of the owners is wrong. And they do grasp that any defraud is wrong. But there's no formal breakdown of the three laws, no discussion of the fact that the laws cover the things no one would say were okay to be done to them, no mention that they are universal. It is not taught that these laws are the very foundation of both natural law and common law, and nowhere to be found in the legal system. It's not taught that they supersede any laws created by humans. They are not taught that the three laws are above anything legal, and that first ethics should be examined, that if the legal does not accord with ethics, the legal does not apply. They are taught that the legal system is supreme. It is never explained that the rule of law means supremacy of the legal system. Rule of law sidesteps ethical considerations. Take children who are taught that they are responsible for how they choose to feel and a grasp of ethics and you will have adults capable of self-control. Of course, they want us dependent Yet children they can be evil nanny to. They want us needing direction, not self-directed. They want us timid, unwilling to be the first to stand up. They want us 100% under their control. So they're not going to teach us how to control ourselves. Our children are not taught to find what they love to do, but to look at what jobs are out there to do and find the one that pays the most, that closest fits what they love to do. And they are lucky if they find the perfect job, slavery that suits them to a T. Most are driven by necessity to find some outlet into which they can plug their energy while dreaming of what they would love to do. They get their tokens so they can handle the details for the masters of food, clothing, shelter, utilities, communications, and such, which the masters make available to them in corporate goods and services, taking the tokens back. Our children are not taught that this is slavery, with slaves who think they are free. 
Our children are not taught that money systems create this. Our children are not taught that, as money is power, it buys things and people, and there are ones who lust after power over others, money will promote these people to power, as these people will do anything, ethical or unethical, to get and keep the power. Our children know little of these people. They do not know that these people cannot feel caring, compassion, love, or empathy for others, nor feel remorse, nor that they own virtually everything on our planet. Except as a clinical diagnosis, these people are never discussed how their presence affects society, these psychopaths. Our children are not taught that there is a gene that causes psychopathy. These are primary psychopaths. Our children are not taught that in a society run by primary psychopaths, secondary psychopathy arises. People shut off their caring, compassion, love, and empathy for others in the competition created by money to succeed. Others shut down just to survive, and one severely abused do just to cope. The severely indoctrinated, too, will shut down their caring. That the psychopaths who run society today have indoctrinated us to think that such behaviors are normal behaviors in humanity gives the bulk of us a skewed view of what humanity truly is, quite a deliberate construction of view. Our children are not taught the betterment ethic. They are not taught to look for ways that might make things better for those around them. Instead, they are taught to be productive members in a structure set to use them as slaves. The structure is never to be questioned. It's perfect, so betterment cannot happen. Of course, it's far from perfect, and betterment is desperately needed. But our children are not taught this. They are made to emotionally attach to what is. Our children are not taught about the many methods to extract energy from the pool of energy we swim in, but are taught to scoff at the idea it is possible. No such thing as free energy. Not being taught the intimate link between money and energy, our children cannot see why free energy would be hidden. Money accounts for our energy added into the system of accounting for it. Add free energy and accounting for energy becomes pointless. Our children are not taught that if you have to account for your energy to another to survive, you are not free. You are a slave. They are taught to glorify work. With the slave's creed, the work ethic pressed upon them as a thing to aspire to. They are not taught the difference between self-proof and best creation and the idea that we must plug our energy in somehow to be virtuous. This work ethic is that slave's creed, and it ensures willing slaves for the psychopaths in control. The psychopaths hide the free energy technologies because money is their only tool to widespread influence. The last thing they want is free energy out leaving them with only personal charisma to influence others' behaviors. And though some of the psychopaths are charismatic, such will hold little overall sway with an ethical society of sovereigns living in abundance. Our children are not taught that their education is designed to bring the bright ones down to the level of the ones a bit dim and not the other way around. They are not told it is designed with indoctrination and not creativity promoted. They are not shown, for example, proper punctuation, or if they are, it's glossed over. And they are not told this is to degrade communication. Our children are not taught that the better a sentence is punctuated, the higher the probability that their meanings in text will be transmitted correctly. Our children are not taught to assign probabilities of truth to what they are told, rather than labeling true or false in their minds. They are not told to ask, does that explain what I see? 
when evaluating the probability of truth. They are not taught to adjust their probabilities as new data come along, asking the same question, does that explain what I see, to evaluate the new data, allowing adjustments up or down to what they have given an initial probability to. Instead, they are told to build their worldview with those true-false labels, creating emotional attachments to that view as true, and will resist greatly when data come along that clearly refute the assignments given. Our children are not taught to entertain data without believing them, testing the data to see if they explain what they see. Rather, they are taught not to think, rejecting out of hand any data that refute what they have placed the opposite label too. Our children are not taught the art of being a gentle one. They are not taught never to refuse offers, but to counter offers they don't want to accept as is with their own offers. I will be happy to do that, let that happen, if you jump from a plane at 10,000 feet without a parachute. Our children are not taught that they are sovereigns with a learning time to be able to make fully informed choices when they join the ranks of adulthood and gain full freedom. They are not taught this planet is theirs for having been born here. They are not taught that what is theirs was usurped in trust. The psychopaths made beneficiaries of humanity and took control of the wealth that belongs to us centuries ago. As Rockefeller says, they own nothing but, as trustees, control everything. They are not told that the trust is one foundation piece of the legal system, that ethically they would be taught this, but legally there is no such requirement to be found. And so the trustees do not teach that there are millions for each in that trust. Our children are not taught that the trustees are the psychopaths they know little about, the ones in control now, the heirs of the original trustees. Our children are indoctrinated in many ways that teach them they must earn the gift of life to add their energy somehow, find a way to plug their energy into the system that, overall, moves our planet's wealth to the ones at the top. They are taught that the control structure is there for them, when really it is owned by the ones at the top. Our children believe and attach emotionally. They then obey and thus, when they grow up, increase their children who are adults status, dependent on those above. Our children are not taught what their sovereignty means. They are not told that once they have completed their basic learning, once they are an adult, no one rules them unless they choose unethical behavior. They are not taught that the systems in place require their consent for the systems to have rulership over them. It is not shown to them that they can withdraw consent and take their sovereignty, that they are sovereign as long as they behave ethically. It is not taught to our children that if no one chose unethical behavior, there would be scant issues in society. They are not told that statistically all unethical choices are made for money and its power. They are not taught that money is archaic. They are not taught that it is money that stands in the way of them being true owners of the planet, sovereign thereon, without a diabolical trust between them, able to avail themselves of the vast abundance the planet can provide. Indeed, our children are woefully shackled by the controllers, the trustees, the psychopathic slave masters who cast many illusions through the play they create to move us slowly, boiling the frog, into their complete clutches. Let us suppose that our children were taught these things. Would they be better equipped as sovereigns? Would they have self-control, a drive to better things, a critical mind, self-confidence? Will they be gentle ones? Perhaps we should build better for them, 
Perhaps we best would build a society of ethical sovereigns as their heritage, teaching them all which they have not been taught, rather than leave them blinded in the hands of the psychopaths. We need a blueprint for such a free and ethical society, for a firm foundation from which the caring ones will emerge to take care of things, and not the psychopaths, out of which we may live as richly as we choose. A foundation that allows our children to pursue what they love to do, while keeping in mind the betterment of human society, with smiles to magnificent works, earning love, encouragement, appreciation, fame, reputation, adoration, and the many other positive social currencies. My life has been spent defining the problem, psychopaths in control, the support of the problem, money, and devising a better foundation that strips that support away, and now sharing. Indeed, I have a blueprint. I'm going to tell you, the first step is getting widespread awareness that we can do this. Sharing is vital, for without this awareness, people will not think to build for our children so vastly better than now. Therefore, if you want a better heritage for your children, share and share and share. See and share my playlist on uToilet or my work on Bitchu for the blueprint I freely offer. Written, voiced, and produced by Amaterasu Solar, Shill for Humanity Love Always Humanity Will Win